Hi, uh, this is Hemant and uh, I, I represent Nomad Communications. Uh, today we are going to talk about how to use radio uh, from within the Moodle LMS. Uh, I must tell you that radio now, uh, radio is my passion for a long time. And uh, you know, probably somebody when I was young told me that uh, I have a very good face for radio and uh, since then probably I always wanted to do something about the radio and as I grew up uh, you know my second passion came from Moodle I mean I'm, I'm passionate Moodler so now it's a project for me to combine radio and Moodle together well it was not so difficult however people kept on asking me why why do you want to do that why do you want to combine radio and Moodle when Moodle itself has so many live communication tools like uh, we have uh, uh, we have Zoom and in open source we have Big Blue Button they do much better job than uh, let's say a radio or one way communication why do you want to even think about combining radio with Moodle well and I didn't know that I didn't have an answer for that but I liked radio and I wanted to do something about it. So finally the answer came from my friend COVID-19. <laughs> yeah, I mean look look you have to take COVID as probably a friend because COVID has done what we educators couldn't do for decades you know. COVID made everybody realize that learning online is not such a bad thing and we the Moodlers couldn't do it for decades well COVID is my friend and COVID actually brought me the answer that why should I combine radio with Moodle right so let's let's just check the facts when 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 uh, uh, COVID struck and all the schools were closed down all the children were pushed into online learning even those who did not have enough infrastructure to do so were forced to do uh, forced to learn online and as a result uh, they they started they started figuring it how uh, figuring it out how to do it and uh, in india where we are and we ran uh, many online classes we realized that most of our children most of the school going children were coming online uh, on their mobile phone uh, that means they were they were consuming the mobile data and uh, obviously in countries like uh, India and uh, other poor countries uh, we have situation where mobile data is not unlimited it's not freely available people have to make sacrifices to pay for their mobile data uh, okay consider this scenario that you know uh, a father is working from home online and a child also want to learn online from home and they have 1.5 GB of data on their mobile phone and they have to share okay so the economy of data is what I'm talking about here so let's figure it out how economic is it to really use radio versus apps like let's say zoom or big blue button so here is some very basic comparison yeah, so I did uh, some comparison of data consumption pattern on various uh, apps like uh, Zoom or Google Meet or uh, uh, Big Blue Button. Uh, not real. I mean, it, it's not easy to have a very clear cut understanding of how much data uh, an app uh, would generally use. But in a group session, uh, I, I collated some data from, uh, you know, finding out information from here and there and with some assumptions. Uh, uh, this is what I came up with so if you use a kind of a low uh, quality session uh, in a in a group a kind of a scenario not one to one one to one of course will consume less data but if you are in a group like if you have seven eight ten fifteen uh, people in a class and you as a teacher addressing them uh, or or the other way around uh, I am in a class of seven eight ten uh, children and I'm, I'm I'm listening to my teacher what kind of data will I uh, use so uh, uh, basically uh, you know for low quality session I'll be using something 
like 450 MB per hour for download and almost equal amount for upload so total comes to about 900 MB and uh, at, a, at a medium quality which is generally everybody uses uh, you know uh, across across uh, various uh, time zones is 675 MB per hour uh, download and upload totaling it to 1.35 GB remember what I said earlier that in a situation like India or, or many countries poor countries a father and a child is sharing an internet connection with a daily allowance of 1.5 GB per day uh, of data and if father and son uh, for their official work and uh, son for or the child for uh, it's it's just daily learning consumes 1.35 GB they are left with very little for anything else like listening to some music or sending some email or probably forget about watching movies it's just not possible so yeah I mean uh, data economy is not really working out for me against that if you look at the average data consumption on internet radio at high fidelity bitrate that is 128 kbps if you listen to music at 128 kbps it's considered high fidelity and yeah I mean you you can go you can do better you can go up to 320 kbps uh, let's say but 120 kbps is, is really fine you know you can have a good musical experience so even if I want to go at 120 kb 128 kbps uh, uh, stream on radio I'm consuming just 57.6 MB an hour and zero upload because I'm it's not interactive medium it's one way well that's a limitation but we'll come to that a little later okay just hold on to this idea that 128 kbps um, uh, at 128 kbps I'm using 57.6 MB an hour which is like I have huge amount of data left for my entertainment for my other work and for my other children and yeah I mean it's it's like it's a it's a great data economy so uh, the second question that I'm sure it's like really bursting in your mind is that what about the interactivity I mean learning is not just listening to your teacher agreed 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 but we can always open up other channel for interaction let's say we create a, a whatsapp group of our class and uh, interact on whatsapp what's wrong listen what are we doing here today I mean uh, most of the people are listening to me at this point of time on YouTube channel where is the interactivity there I mean they are interacting to me through forum or some other channels exactly that I'm that is what I'm saying is that if there is a need for data economy uh, we can find other channels for interactivity but teacher mostly it's going to be monologue I mean uh, what's happening here also I'm saying and you guys are listening and you have a question you're jotting it down maybe sending it to me through forum so and so forth but mostly I'm saying it's 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 as good as or as bad as broadcast so be it so why not consider radio for teaching so let me uh, take you through how I integrated uh, an IP radio uh, internet protocol radio uh, within Moodle now uh, you know it's it's there's not much that you have to do from the Moodle side but on the on the other side on the radio side you have to a little bit of work uh, let me let me let me take you through basically what you need to do is uh, you need to create a encoding server now you can create if you have a computer lying at home an extra computer lying at home you can probably install a headless server for your uh, radio work of course you need uh, a slightly better internet connectivity and and a kind of a dedicated IP to make that server of your uh, server of yours uh, available online uh, easier way probably is to have some kind of a cloud infrastructure create a server there and uh, uh, kind of you know use uh, that as a your encoding server even easier there are lots and lots of uh, uh, you know service provider who would give you uh, 
icecast server uh, on 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 a rental basis you you uh, on subscription basis so basically you subscribe to an icecast icecast server and you can use that uh, i use icecast because uh, icecast is an open source uh, platform and uh, yeah i mean it's 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 really good it's stable like rock you know it's like really rock stable so yeah icecast is a good option for you you can get hold of any icecast server if you need any help uh, uh, message me and uh, i'll be able to uh, you know give you access to an I icecast server i have uh, in nomad we have like huge capacity to 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 have many 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 radio stations in that sense yeah so once you have an icecast server uh, let me take you through how exactly you integrate that uh, within Moodle. Now there are a couple of other things that I must tell you before I actually go on the screen and show you how exactly I did it. Um, there are Icecast is like a core. I mean there are many many applications developed on Icecast uh, server. So the one I use for this application is again an open source project called Azura Cast and maybe you want to check that out. It's 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 a wonderful project. It does really a beautiful job though it has been designed essentially to run a online radio radio station but what the heck i mean it's it's okay i mean we can we can use that uh, for we can repurpose anything today so why not azura cast we are not running an online music radio station but we are just teaching children on radio same thing yeah i mean let 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 uh, uh, that be clear that most of the application as of today is not meant for teaching it is meant for some other other things and we are just repurposing it okay so azura cast ice cast keep that in your mind and let's 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 just jump in okay so here is my azura cast uh, interface uh, what i have here is a kind of a uh, page where I have various options I can see the stream and uh, uh, I can actually manage and manipulate a lot of things out here uh, what you need to do essentially is to uh, create a kind of a streamer okay and uh, streamer essentially is a kind of a facility in which you can create a, a, a remote uh, station for streaming into the Azura cast or the ice cast server okay and uh, uh, I have created a kind of a client or, or a streamer uh, the streamer uh, the username is source and uh, there is a password that I don't need to tell you but you can create your own password you can create your own uh, name for streamer let's say uh, I want to create a streamer for my best teacher uh, Ishana and I'll create a streamer name called Ishana and I'll have a password for that. Once you've created the streamer, uh, you have all the uh, kind of uh, details that you require here. You will be streaming on the port 8005, here is an IP address so and so forth. Once you have all that, uh, you also have the Azura Cast provides a HTML5 based uh, sort of uh, web streamer or a web uh, DJ interface which is a wonderful thing there are a lot of uh, uh, icecast server which uh, which will give you the icecast but which, which will which does not have a ready-made uh, streamer from uh, your browser I mean you have to use a lot of other applications which is possible but uh, slightly complicated but this is the easiest so you have a a streamer like this uh, in which uh, you put your sample rate uh, like you know 128 kbps if you feel that your students have even less connectivity or even poor poorer connectivity than you know uh, normal then you can go down all the way up to 32 kbps unless unless you are teaching high fidelity music which I mean you are not at the moment I mean uh, there may be a music teacher who would definitely need 128 kbps to understand different frequencies better but if I'm just teaching math 
I can even go down to 32 kbps and the data consumption on the student side is going to reduce further down. Okay, so let's for this example go ahead with 128 kbps of speed uh, or, or not uh, sampling rate and then I'll just put my credentials and uh, my password and that's it and uh, uh, it will work however how do I come to this page so this is where the Moodle comes in okay uh, here is my Moodle interface okay and here is my course using radio for learning I mean this is what we are talking about so I'll go there and what we see here is a student perspective from a student perspective I have radio for math kind of a lesson so I will as a student I'll click on this yeah and a player opens up uh, and if I play it's going to play some music uh, let, let, let for a change math be a music to student, students ears which is the yeah, I mean, uh, student is already tuned into the radio. So, yeah, right now, uh, the radio is playing some music, waiting for the teachers to come in. Okay, so now let's bring in the teacher. Okay, we, I go back and here I have uh, uh, an activity called Broadcast Your Lesson, which is hidden from student. Okay, and I click on that and I'm ready to broadcast and the moment I click in I have given an external link to the same page which I showed you earlier uh, like like you know because it is an HTML5 page it is going to grab your mic and uh, ask you can I take your mic and you should say yes once you allow your mic to be captured you see my webcam mic is is captured here now I will put my credentials that is and uh, I'm ready now uh, I can I have two decks you know I can actually be a radio jockey as I said this applications are made to run a professional radio stations we are not running a professional radio station I'm just teaching a math so I don't need player one and player two playlist one and playlist two and a mixer never mind just let it be there maybe tomorrow you want to use for some other reason you can repurpose all of this but for now I just want to talk to my students and here it is I just click on microphone allow and I'm online hello fellows hello students and today we are going to learn math or really forget about it so this is how easy it is I mean yeah I have to sorry I have to say start streaming uh, if I don't start streaming my students are not going to hear it anyway so again hello students we are going to learn math today okay forget about it yeah so this is as easy as that you know you can actually now online broadcasting to your students and imagine hundreds maybe thousands students can tune in listen to you and probably com communicate to you through other channels uh, like whatsapp uh, chat or uh, facebook chat or whatever you, whatever else you want to do you can create uh, uh, another channel for for interaction but right now my students are listening to me on an ip radio consuming extremely low data I think it's a wonderful idea if you need any help if you require any assistance from uh, me uh, just just um, uh, meet me in the cafe or uh, you know catch me or send me a mail whatever I mean you know how to contact me thank you very much for your attention